Isn't it the best feeling ever when you finish building a Lego set? And doesn't it feel terrible when the set doesn't look good on display? Hello everyone, it's the Lego Brit here and inside this package I am hoping I have the solution to that very problem. This was sent to me completely for free to review by iDisplays, so thank you so much. The opinions I express will be my own, but this was sent to me for free. Now I'm not going to tell you what exactly is in here, but it is some Lego Star Wars display solutions, so I'm going to test them out, I can't wait to dive into these. Woo, man, it is sweltering in the UK today. Is it being outside getting a tan like I should be. I'm here filming this review for you, so guys, please do drop a like. So I've just opened the package up and iDisplay has sent me three display stands. Here we have an 8cm angle display stand, we have a 12cm angle display stand, and we have the biggest one here, a flat 24cm stand. So I'm going to try all of these out, but first let's put them together. While I put together the first stand, let me tell you about iDisplay it. iDisplay have put together a wide range of different LEGO display solutions, which include stands like the ones I I'm building and cases. So whether it's a big set that you need a big case for or a little set that you just want to stand for, iDisplay it probably has it on their website. Definitely check it out. The link is in description. And just like that, the 8cm display stand is finished. Overall, it was a very easy experience just putting it together. I think the hardest thing was peeling off the protective foil, but even that just required a bit of patience. Let's build the others now. Well, 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 the stands are finished. And as you can see, I've already put my Moff Gideon's Imperial Light Cruiser on top of the biggest stand. And honestly, it makes it looks so much more impressive. I'm going to go over each of the stands individually. I also love the fact, I want to mention right here, that it comes with two sides. This one didn't take the foil off because I'm not going to use it quite yet, but it comes with two sides for each stand. So if you want to put a bigger ship like this, you can use the bigger one, or if you have a smaller one, you can use this one. Right, let's go over the stands individually. This is the 24 centimeter stand, the biggest and to me the most impressive of them all. Just looking at this, 24 centimeters might not sound like a lot, but honestly, when you compare it to the other Lego sets that are on the ground level, it looks incredible, especially if you have like a capital Lego Star Wars ship set, a bit like a Venator or a Star Destroyer, or indeed this Imperial Light Cruiser, it makes it look so much more impressive. I'm also impressed with the stability, like you can shake it around, but this is not falling over. You can turn it around as well and you can position it. If you use the larger one, especially make sure you use the larger one with these bigger ships, it's very, very stable. I'm very impressed with this stand. Let's try the other two. Up next, we have the 12 centimeter angle display stand. And you know what? This might actually be my favorite of the three, purely because it has that slight tilt on it and it's a decent height. It's not as short as the other one and it's not as tall as that, so you meet in the middle and you get a tilt with it as well. This is very impressive and I chose to put the resistance ITS transport on this because I'm going to Disney World in America on holiday. I'm so excited. I'll be seeing this in Galaxy's Edge, so subscribe for the vlogs. Don't miss any. I'm going on holiday and I can't wait to share the experience with you. Right, there's my shameless plug over. I'm very impressed with this stand. Let's do the last one. And last up, we have the smallest one. This is the 8 centimeter angle display stand and for the size I honestly don't think it's that bad. I know it looks a little less than eight centimeters that's just because it's tilting but I think it's pretty cute. You can prop up a little speeder or something on this or if you wanted you could put a big one no one's gonna stop you. I think it's just as good. It's obviously the cheapest so it has that going for it so I think this one's pretty great. As you probably guessed by now I am very very impressed with these stands. They're definitely better than I thought they would be and I would 100% recommend them so go down into the description and check out iDisplay's website. Also make sure you watch this video here where I show you the best way to clean your Lego sets. You don't want to miss out on this. Have a great day. Goodbye.